If you're new here, please consider subscribing to this channel. We have more coming and you don't want to miss out such a, an amazing concept that we'll be delivering. So today, we are still in mathematics and today I've just brought in an, an interesting topic. And as you know, it is carrying a lot of marks in your exams. This question, calculating just the volume of a first term of a pyramid, it is carrying six marks. And you don't want to miss out on this one. So I'm going to make it easier to calculate the volume of a pyramid. That is a first term, the one that has been cut on top. So let's quickly dive in. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please may you subscribe. All right. If you already did, and make sure you put a thumbs up. Click on that thumb until it turns uh, blue. So that you can help out this video to reach a lot of people. All right. So let's quickly go straight into the video. So our tutorial today, I want to teach you how to find the volume for such kind of questions. So the first thing you're going to be doing, all right, before you even bring out your formula, this is what you're going to do, guys. Right? First of all, you check. Check, first of all, the base. Have you seen where I'm pointing there? So you check, first of all, the base. Your questions, it can either come as a pyramid which has a rectangular base or it can be a first term of a pyramid with a square base. Those two concepts are very important. Now, how do you identify? When I come to this shape here, you check first of all. So if you look at this, you have just been given a value down here to say AB is 12 centimeters and then FG is 8 centimeters. And there are no values. BC, no value. DC, no value. Same applies on top. GH, no value. HE, no value. This simply tells you to say this first term of a pyramid has got a square base. So it simply means the AB, if it is 12 centimeters, even BC is the same. If you see the way we identify, same applies. Now, if the bottom pass, if you are able to identify just the, the base there, the bottom base, it means even on top there, you'll be able to know. If on the bottom it is a rectangle, just know even on top it is also a rectangle. So since it is a square, we know already to say even on top it is also a square. Now, it doesn't matter. So we are going to be using this formula I'm going to give you. I'll simplify things. And we have a height here. Okay, so no need for you to start extending it. No need. We are going to be using this simple formula here. So volume of a first term of a pyramid, whether it has got a rectangular base or a square base, we are still going to be using it, this formula. So Volume of a first term of a pyramid is equal to H over 3, open brackets, area 1 plus area 2 plus the root of area 1 multiplied by area 2. Now, where do you get these areas? That is why we are finding out the what? The bases. Okay, that is why we are finding out the basis so you need to be able to understand so for me I'll, I'll have to know how to find the area of a rectangle and how to find the area of a square so in this case because it is a square how do we find the area of a square a area of a square is equal to a squared as simple as that so let us quickly, quickly um, collect our data. Okay. So on my right there, you can see I'm collecting my data. 
So the height I've been given, the height is, you can see the slanting height here. This is it, three centimeters. Okay, then we are going to correct area A, which is, so area one here in this case, you can take, it can be this one on top, it can be the area one, or this one on the bottom, it can be area one. It doesn't matter there. Okay, so let us begin to correct our data. So H, we have said is equal to three centimeters. We have written there. Then area one, since we have said this has got a base which is a square. So even on top it is the same. So I've picked, for me, I've picked the one on top here to be my first square, my first area. So I'll say eight, eight squared now, because we have said A squared, so 8 squared. And 8 times 8, you can see the answer here is 64 um, centimeter squared. We go for number 2. The area of the bottom base. This one now, we we'll just square the 12 times 12 is equal to 144. So we we'll just substitute per formula. You've seen that, right? We just substitute on the formula quickly and things are done. So TNT. In this case, we have height, which is a 3, and we've put a 3 here. Okay? And we are substituting area 1, and we have said it is a base, so A squared. So 8 squared. Area 2, we have said it is a square again. And that is 12 squared. And inside here, I'm putting area 1 multiplied by area 2. So area 1 is 64. Area 2 is 144. You can see I'm multiplying in the square root there. Okay. Then dividing the 3 into 3, that is a 1. Okay. 1 times whatever will be found in the brackets. As you can see now, the multiplication of what is in the brackets, we are getting a square root of 9,216. Okay. Then we have, so we can proceed now. Now summing up 64 plus 144, we are going to get a 208. Correct. So why, where has the one gone? If we multiply the one with everything inside the brackets here, we are not going to get any difference because the numbers will still maintain. That is why we have just left it out. I hope it's clear there. Okay, then we proceed. So the square root, if you punch on your calculator, what is the square root of 9216 square root just get your calculator this is paper 2 get your calculator punch square root then of 9216 and you happen to get 96 correct okay then the next step there is to add so we are going to add the two numbers there and those numbers are 208 plus 96. Can you guess without a calculator? Ah, good. Correct. So the final answer is 304 centimeter cube. This is the answer here. It means you are done. So from here up to there, that is your six marks. That's all. So no need for you to start extending this, uh, no, you extend up to there, you extend up to there, then calculating the height, no need for all that, no need for that. You just identify the base. Is it a square? Is it a rectangle? Then you calculate using it, the areas. So if it was a rectangle, we're going just to multiply area of a rectangle is equal to L times B. That's all. Then you multiply and substitute where you're supposed to substitute. Okay. 
Thank you very much, guys. If this video helped you in any way or you, you'd want to share it with one of the persons that can benefit from this, may you please share it to your friends. And if you are new, may you please subscribe to our channel. There are more things coming, attending your exams as you are approaching. As you know, guys, you really need help in mathematics. If you want to pass mathematics, it all starts here at MBJ Knowledge. May you please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.